CRISPR-Cas9 is a groundbreaking technology that has transformed genetic research. It allows scientists to edit genes with precision. This has opened new possibilities in medicine and biology. The discovery has been likened to a pair of molecular scissors. This technology is particularly important in the fight against diseases. One of the most notable is HIV. HIV is a virus that affects millions of people globally. Traditional treatments have limitations, making new solutions essential. CRISPR-Cas9's ability to target specific DNA sequences is revolutionary. It has been used in various studies to edit genetic material. This has led to significant advancements in treating genetic disorders. In this essay, we will explore how CRISPR-Cas9 works. We will also discuss its role in combating HIV. This includes recent breakthroughs and potential future applications. CRISPR-Cas9 consists of two main components, the Cas9 protein and a guide RNA, or gRNA. The Cas9 protein is an enzyme that cuts DNA. The gRNA guides Cas9 to the right spot in the DNA sequence. Once bound, Cas9 cuts the DNA at this precise location. This allows scientists to modify genetic material. CRISPR-Cas9 is a powerful tool in genetics. HIV, or human immunodeficiency virus, is a major global health issue. It attacks the immune system, specifically the CD4 cells. This weakens the body's ability to fight infections and diseases. If left untreated, HIV can lead to AIDS, or acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. HIV is transmitted through bodily fluids. Common ways include unprotected sex, sharing needles, and from mother to child during birth. Once inside the body, HIV integrates into the host's DNA. This makes it difficult to eradicate. The virus replicates rapidly, creating new strains. This constant mutation is a major challenge in treatment. It also makes vaccine development difficult. HIV can remain dormant in cells for long periods, making it hard to detect and eliminate. HIV affects millions of people worldwide. Despite advancements in treatment, it remains a significant public health challenge. This underscores the need for innovative approaches like CRISPR-Cas9. Current HIV treatments have limitations. Antiretroviral therapy, or ART, is the most common treatment. It involves taking a combination of medications daily. ART can reduce the viral load to undetectable levels. However, it does not cure HIV. Patients must adhere to a strict medication regimen. Missing doses can lead to drug resistance. This makes the virus harder to treat. RT also has side effects, which can affect the patient's quality of life. Another limitation is the cost of treatment. ART is expensive and not accessible to everyone. This is particularly problematic in low-income regions. The lifelong nature of treatment also poses a financial burden. Despite these treatments, HIV remains in the body. The virus can hide in reservoirs, such as the brain and lymph nodes. This means that even with effective ART, the virus can re-emerge if treatment stops. This highlights the need for a cure, which CRISPR-Cas9 could potentially provide. Section 5, CRISPR-Cas9 in HIV research. CRISPR-Cas9 has shown promise in HIV research. Scientists have used it to target and disrupt the HIV genome. This prevents the virus from replicating. One approach involves editing the host's DNA to make cells resistant to HIV infection. Researchers have also targeted the viral DNA integrated into the host's genome. By cutting out the HIV DNA, CRISPR-Cas9 can potentially eliminate the virus from infected cells. This approach has been tested in laboratory settings with encouraging results. In 2019, a study demonstrated the use of CRISPR-Cas9 to remove HIV from the genomes of living mice. The researchers successfully edited out the viral DNA. This marked a significant step towards developing a potential cure. These findings have generated excitement in the scientific community. They suggest that CRISPR-Cas9 could be a game-changer in HIV treatment. However, more research is needed to translate these findings to human patients. Recent breakthroughs highlight CRISPR-Cas9's potential in HIV research. In a 2020 study, CRISPR-Cas9 targeted the HIV-1 genome. They excised viral DNA, freeing cells of HIV. Another study targeted latent HIV reservoirs. This could be crucial for a functional cure. In 2021, Chinese scientists edited the CCR5 gene in HIV patients. Edited cells showed resistance to HIV infection. These studies show significant progress. Section 7. Potential Impacts on Other Diseases 
CRISPR-Cas9's potential extends beyond HIV. It has been used to study and treat various genetic disorders. These include cystic fibrosis, muscular dystrophy, and sickle cell anemia. The technology allows for precise editing of faulty genes. In cancer research, CRISPR-Cas9 is used to identify and target cancer-causing genes. This can lead to the development of personalized cancer treatments. The ability to edit immune cells to better fight cancer is also being explored. CRISPR-Cas9 has applications in infectious disease research. It can be used to study pathogens and develop new treatments. For example, it has been used to combat antibiotic resistance by editing bacterial genomes. The technology is also being used in agriculture. It can create crops that are resistant to pests and diseases. This could improve food security and reduce the need for chemical pesticides. The potential applications of CRISPR-Cas9 are vast and varied. The use of CRISPR-Cas9 raises several ethical questions. One concern is the potential for off-target effects. These are unintended edits to the genome, which could have harmful consequences. Ensuring precision and safety is crucial. There are also concerns about the use of gene editing in humans. Editing germline cells, which are passed to future generations, is particularly controversial. This could lead to unintended long-term effects and raises questions about consent. The potential for designer babies is another ethical issue. The ability to edit genes could be used to enhance physical and cognitive traits. This raises concerns about social inequality and the definition of normalcy. Regulation and oversight are essential in addressing these ethical issues. International guidelines and frameworks are being developed. The goal is to balance the potential benefits of CRISPR-Cas9 with ethical considerations. CRISPR-Cas9, while promising, has risks and challenges. One major risk is off-target effects. These occur when the Cas9 protein cuts unintended parts of the genome. This can lead to harmful mutations and unexpected consequences. Another challenge is delivery. Getting the CRISPR-Cas9 components into the right cells in the body is complex. Effective delivery methods are essential for the technology to be used in clinical settings. Viral vectors and nanoparticles are being explored as delivery systems. There are also technical challenges. These include ensuring the stability and efficiency of the edited genes. Long-term studies are needed to understand the effects of gene editing over time. Public perception and acceptance are also challenges. Education and transparent communication are important. This will help the public understand the benefits and risks of CRISPR-Cas9. Addressing these challenges is key to the successful application of the technology. The future of CRISPR-Cas9 in medicine is promising. Ongoing research is refining the technology and expanding its applications. Clinical trials are underway for various genetic disorders and cancers. These trials are testing the safety and efficacy of CRISPR-Cas9 in humans. In HIV research, the focus is on developing a functional cure. This involves targeting and eliminating the virus from infected cells. Advances in delivery methods and precision editing are crucial for this goal. Researchers are also exploring the use of CRISPR-Cas9 in combination with other therapies. For example, combining gene editing with immunotherapy could enhance treatment outcomes. The potential to personalize treatments based on an individual's genetic makeup is another exciting prospect. The continued development of CRISPR-Cas9 will require collaboration and innovation. Scientists, ethicists, and policymakers must work together. The goal is to ensure the technology is used safely and effectively for the benefit of humanity. In conclusion, CRISPR-Cas9 is revolutionizing genetic research and medicine. Its precision and efficiency have opened new possibilities in treating diseases like HIV. Recent breakthroughs in HIV research using CRISPR-Cas9 are promising. They represent significant steps toward finding a functional cure. The technology also has potential applications in other diseases and fields. However, ethical considerations and technical challenges must be addressed. Ensuring the safe and responsible use of CRISPR-Cas9 is essential. The future of CRISPR-Cas9 is bright and full of potential. Continued research and collaboration are key. By understanding and harnessing this technology, we can make significant strides in medicine. I encourage readers to stay informed and engaged in genetic research. It is an exciting and rapidly evolving field with the potential to change lives.